Hi, welcome back to my channel. As we move out of 2021 and into 2022, I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look at what I perceive as the top five cybersecurity threats that we're going to have to deal with in 2022. Hi, my name is Steve Murphy, and I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and not necessarily a reflection of the views or opinions of my employer. 2021 was a tough year. We got the remote work from home workforce in place, secured it as best we could, but ransomware was off the charts. In fact, the Cybersecurity Institute estimated that in the first quarter of 2021, we had three times more ransomware events than we had in all of 2019 just two years prior. So ransomware is increasing dramatically and that makes ransomware the number one item on my list of top five cybersecurity concerns for 2022. Ransomware is gonna become more and more prevalent, especially in the small and medium sized business market. And there are two things that are driving this. First of all, the higher end, the enterprise organizations are getting really good at monitoring their network and detecting threats before they can do much damage. There's still a lot of work to be done there, but the environment has improved dramatically on the enterprises. But the small and medium-sized businesses have largely not implemented any proactive monitoring on their network, at least that's my experience with the clients that we work with, and therefore they present a much softer target for the bad actors. The second factor that's driving this increase is ransomware as a service. So it used to be particular hacking organizations were our largest threat. Now the hacking organizations are licensing their wares and allowing pretty much anyone with a few hundred dollars to get their kit and launch ransomware attacks on anyone. So now we're going to have rather than major ransomware organizations targeting generally enterprise organizations, we're going to have people in their basement, individual actors launching attacks against generally small and medium-sized businesses because they present, again, such a soft target. So that's number one, increase even further in the number of ransomware attacks that we're going to experience in 2022. The next item, number two, is an increase in laws and regulations. Just when ransomware was, was hitting its stride, now the regulators, the lawmakers are going to get into the act and force the organizations that maintain especially consumer data to have a strong security posture and to maintain strong governance around that data. And so it'll be very expensive if organizations fail to comply with these new regulations. And not only will the expense of, uh, it, will the expense be incurred to mitigate and to uh, restore services after a ransomware attack, but there'll also be regulatory and um, legal implications as well. And these laws and regulations are coming down in the United States and pretty much all 50 states within the next two years. There are about a half a dozen states right now with firm regulations in place and almost every state has something in the works. Internationally, almost every developed country uh, will have substantial laws and regulations around data privacy and data governance for consumer-based information especially. So that's number two, laws and regulations will get tighter. Number three, the cyber insurance that your CFO relies on in the event of an incident may not pay. Cyber insurance organizations are taking it on the chin in terms of paying out for cyber security incidents. They're getting much more aggressive in terms of requiring a strong security posture to begin with and then evaluating whether or not good controls were in place and the organization did the right thing in terms of uh, addressing the incident that's resulting in the claim. So don't rely on your cybersecurity insurance as a payment vehicle. You have to make sure that everything is tight in your organization in order to improve the odds that your cyber insurance will actually pay out on a claim. Number four is AI threats. Now, AI is a great tool for helping keep our network safe. It allows us to monitor the behavior of our networks and not just monitoring the things that are in the network. But the bad guys are getting smart with regard to AI too. They're using AI within their malware to increase their dwell time. The malware, when it's installed in a network, will actually hide and using its AI engine will learn the network, will learn the network's behavior and will operate within that network behavior to try to avoid detection. So not only do, are we using AI to try to identify the threats, but the bad guys are using AI to try to hide from our AI tools. So that's another um, reason why you really do need an AI enabled platform within your network to monitor for these threats. 
it's getting to the point of such increased sophistication that you really need top-notch tools in your network to maintain your security posture. Now the last security topic that I'll mention, again with regard to ransomware, is a broadening of the threat with ransomware. Um, we talked in several videos about the dual ransom, where a ransomware actor will exfiltrate some data and not only encrypt the data and hold that data hostage, but they'll also threaten to release the exfiltrated data out into the public domain if a second ransom isn't paid. Well now, the bad guys are getting even, even smarter and more aggressive. They're not only holding the data for release, potential release, and holding the data hostage. Those are the first two ransom opportunities, but there are two additional ransom opportunities that have emerged recently. The first one is they are holding that data and going to your customers because they have customer data in their possession. They're going to your customers and asking for a ransom or demanding a ransom, or they'll release the customer information to the public. And they're also doing that to your business partners, threatening to release business partner information to the public. So there are two additional ransom opportunities for these attackers to get additional return on investment for their exploit. These are the five cybersecurity trends that I see in 2022. If you have any ones that you think are going to be important, feel free to put them in the comments. If you want to continue the conversation about cybersecurity or any other topics on this channel, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description of this video. I'm happy to have a conversation at any time. And if you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like. And thank you very much in advance for doing that. That helps others see this content on YouTube. And if you want to return to this channel at any time, the best way of doing that is hitting that subscribe button. That simply puts my videos in your feed and you can return here at your convenience. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great 2022.